Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Unfortunately, because it was not top versus bottom, this is the colors we're working with. Otherwise, it would be yellow versus yellow. Actually, do we want to do just yellow versus yellow? And then you just gotta... Huh. Anyway, Royal Blue starting the upper right-hand corner as the blue turn. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Shafir starting as the also blue Protoss. So do we want blue versus blue or yellow versus yellow? That's a good... Hmm. You know what? Let's go with audio. Uh, we're just gonna go with uh, yellow versus yellow for the hell of it. First time ever, and see how it goes. This is on Eclipse. We haven't seen Eclipse in a while, so might as well go ahead and highlight it. This has been kind of the out and out standard map, natural expansion down here. Lurker egg on the map because that's what ma map makers. Th th I don't know what it is. Map makers just seem to love these lurker eggs. Recently, nine o'clock location inside a ramp, which can be challenging to defend. This base. Uh, plays a big role in the mid game as does this exposed base there could be a lot of fights in that upper right corner over the ramp and otherwise it is mirrored across the middle as you can see royal blue just straight up macro in game one and i think what this game is going to be decided by is by shafir's ability to disrupt that third that tends to be the problem for protoss on this map this is making sure that Terran doesn't just sit back and go for that 200 turn. Basically the same build Royal Blue did in game one. Also, let me know if the audio comes out okay. Twitch chat lets me know that it's working okay. I don't know if it's gonna pipe out to the YouTube audio okay, just as I got everything working precisely after like working on it for a good period of time. OBS, of course, opted to update. Seems like that's what triggers OBS updates these days, is like getting getting all the settings and like, it's like, ah, oh, sweet, got the settings perfect. OBS updates, messes things up. Probe sneaking in. SCV not quite there to linebacker for it, so there is gonna be some harassment. Now an SCV coming off the line to go ahead and do some harassment. First cell going to be produced. Looks like a delayed gas being grabbed. But I think that is gonna give time for that zealot to go up and be frustrating. No gas deal though for Shafir. And that tends to be, that's a big advantage that wasn't utilized. That tends to be one of the things that's almost a gimme on Eclipse. Looks like an SCV making its way down is going to be able to scout and see that initial zealot making its way across. Second zealot being produced, so it is going to be early two zealot pressure. Shafir moving out to potentially place a Dragoon as well. Probe versus SCV fight, and the probe loses. SCV gets the kill. Marine towards the front. First, the factory being built. The Zealot a ways away from being in position to disrupt that. So Royal Blue might get away. So delayed on that second Marine is now blocking the ramp, repairing that SCV necessarily. Like, wait a minute. It's almost like a mom, like sh shuffling the hair really fast before picture day. The Zealot looks like it's not going to, well, is it going to press the issue? It's debating it. Shafir holding up in that natural expansion, maybe wants to wait for that second Zealot, but unfortunately, if he waits for that second Zealot, could be a Vulture on the way. If he presses it, though, that's only two Marines versus two Zealots, and that could be a challenge for Royal Blue to defend, and actually a third Zealot on the way. Cybernetics score online. SCV seeing everything. Now three Marines on the fray. The Zealots marching up, working on that left-hand SCV, able to get a hit. So the Marines exposed. One Marine... Almost dies. Some nice micro there from Royal Blue. Now it's three Marines versus a single Zealot, and that Zealot should get out of dodge. Could turn around and make another attempt, but some nice defense there by Royal Blue, honestly. Top notch. Top notch. Lost a bit of mining time by having the SCVs on the corner, but actually, is he sending a second SCV scout out? Maybe lost the first of this probe. Worker battles these days, I tell you. But right now, Royal Blue looking in a really firm position, actually dropping the machine shop. Feeling comfortable doing so. Two Zelts just still hanging out at that natural expansion. Maybe one to delay that as much as possible. And this could turn into a rush, actually. Because more Marines are being filtered in. Royal Blue feeling like, you know what? I know those Dragoons have been delayed for quite a bit of time. So maybe I'm just going to go ahead and overpower Shafir. Shafir has that engineering bay blockading. That natural expansion. Missed that because of... Uh, maybe I'll go back to the, the previous colors. I'll brain, I'll mess with everybody's brain now. Command Center actually is being built on the high ground, but a lot of Marines are being built to push and take that low ground. No, I'll switch back. Sorry, everybody, for messing with you in that way. Zealot pressing that ramp, getting wiped out, just seeing the sheer volume of Marines. I would, on Shafir's part, it'd be like, okay, is this going to be a push? Mines being upgraded. Siege tank 
also being built. Second gateway tacked on as well as a shuttle. No robotics facility as of yet. No natural expansion as of yet either. So Shafir potentially going to end up economically behind in the mid game. But also it's weird because Shafir not opting for the natural expansion, but also not applying pressure with the Dragoons off the two gate. Has the robotic support bay. Maybe he just wants to see what he can get done with that Reaver and shuttle. And now Royal Blue pressing out with kind of a, a delayed attack off timing rush while still going for an expansion behind it with a slew of Marines. And because Shafir not in the forward position with his Dragoons, not able to really punish it on the walk. And so now getting a shield battery down with his three Dragoons to go ahead and defend against the seven Marines and Siege Tank push. Usually it, we'll see how it, and a Forge gonna go ahead and bl uh, block and cancel. See if three Dragoons with the fourth coming is gonna be sufficient. Bunker starting to get built out on the front. Might be a null thing once that Reaver gets out though. So just needs to buy time, make sure he doesn't lose anything here out in the front. And that Reaver should be able to clean this up nicely, but still it's gonna be a delayed natural. So tech lead could be disaster for Royal Blue if he doesn't get something done with this. Some mines now being planted on the front as well. And keep in mind, this is all with that expansion now up at that natural. Gateway gonna get taken out. So Royal Blue looks like he might be able to end the game with an early one, kind of a off timing push that I don't think I've ever seen. Reaver. Attacking from the rear, not able to get on the Marines, the Royal Blue being very intelligent to go ahead and walk some of those units forward. That Reaver scooping up, trying to micro, a turret being built, the Zealot being dropped, and the Scarab's really not working with Shafir here. So the Vulture's been taken out. There's still mines on the ground here. No mine drag into that SCV, so the turret's going to stand. And now, how long are we away from Siege Check? Siege Check just starting. But it's going to be four Dragoons a Reaver outside, and Shafir still hasn't grabbed that natural expansion, while Royal Blue has his natural expansion up and running and saturated, so add an economic lead, and already has troops staged outside the natural expansion, recharging some troops before making his way back out. But Royal Blue's already done considerable damage. It looks like that Reaver and that shuttle just going to go ahead and make their way out. Shafir staging to maybe grab this natural expansion, but it's a scary take considering Siege Tech is not that far away from finishing. But Royal Blue has zero defenses here at the main. So as long as Shafir drops short and takes out this turret first, he's going to have free reign over that natural expansion, but can't just suicide his shuttle. Shuttle down. So the Reaver going to have to walk his way through. Two siege tanks at the natural, taking care of the Dragoons right there. SCV's pulling off the line. That Reaver going to get taken out. And that was Shafir's last hope in this match. Nexus, uh, he has no troops. A Nexus building. And Royal Blue just going to be able to walk into that natural expansion. And wipe everything out. So, good play from Royal Blue. All the way across, I think, catching Shafir off guard. And Shafir looking a little bit rusty here to start. I'm expecting GG in not too long. I think Shafir's got to be... This is kind of a frustrated delay GG. Maybe he's got that second reaver out and he's hoping for a miracle. we got two additional gateways. Maybe a Dark Templar? Even that, though. There's a turret right here. So, not going to happen. Not going to happen. And it's just going to be... Yeah, cleanup effort from here. All the siege tanks can now move towards that natural. And just seal... Shafir in, and as long as there's a turret ring, and actually it might even be worthwhile to just plant an SCV up to the north to see a shuttle if it was scooping out that direction, but there is going to be a second shuttle out. I think Shafir hoping for a miracle here with this shuttle. But there's already, yeah, turrets, a bunch of vultures. You can see the supply count lead and Shafir supply blocking himself right the second. So shuttle scooping up, hoping to go for a breach, probe coming off the line to fight as well. The Reaver is going to get on this forward siege tank. So Shafir trying to micro his way out of this. But with what? There's a lot of mines in the way. And trying to mine clear now with that Reaver. But the Vulture is actually going to go ahead and scoot in, drop a mine. And yeah, this is just... 
This is just ugly at this stage. Losing goons to mines right out in the front. More turrets being built. I'm surprised that Shafir is not GG'd, to be honest. I think this is a frustration lack of GG. I'm just hoping to, like, at least reclaim the natural. Shuttle down. Reaver down. Still a siege tank at the main. There's GG well played, and that was well played indeed by Royal Blue. And we'll move on to... So that... Yeah, Royal Blue takes it. Dang. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.